All right, everyone, by DeSantis order, Florida is now offering Gadsden flag license plates. You know, no step on snack effectively. Don't tread on me. Um, and NPR was very worried about this. They, they were taking, I guess, the FBI's bullshit about it being a hate symbol or potential hate symbol and saying, oh, my God, it's so dangerous. A dangerous symbol of extreme right-wing hate for minorities and democracy is going to be put on Florida license plates. Now, how will the world ever survive? Oh, no. And DeSantis knows what he's doing. He's dog-whistling to the Nazis and, you know, shit like that. Uh, there are several problems with this. Of course, the Gadsden flag is a libertarian symbol. It has nothing to do with the alt-right or anything like that. I actually saw once, posted a picture of it, thought it was hilarious. Somebody had a no-step-on-snack meme, uh, actually, on the back of their pickup truck once while I was parked there, I think, can't remember exactly, back in Rutland. Uh, and I thought that was hilarious. Uh, Godspeed to uh, whatever uh, crazy motherfucker has that on the back of their pickup in Rutland. Uh, it, it, automatic uh, clanker, I suppose. Be funny, probably a subscriber. It's not an exaggeration. Uh, but the Gadsden flag is a libertarian symbol. The concept is fucking leave me alone. That's not right-wing extremism. Unless you take it to the point of absolute survivalism, you're like at Ruby Ridge or something, and then the government tends to assassinate you under false pretenses. Uh, NPR's claim doesn't hold any water, but there's another arguably bigger problem beyond the ideological stupidity with which NPR is making this claim. Link in the description archived, of course. You can see the write-up of this for yourself. The other problem is that there are already seven states that offer such license plates. I think it's Texas, uh, Arkansas, Missouri. I can't remember them all. Well, then they're already on the road. They're already available. Vanity, uh license plates for people who want them. Wish they would offer them in Vermont. I think I'd grab one up for the Avalon. That'd be funny as hell. Uh, I, th I have a feeling that most of the people that have these particular license plates are driving Jeeps and pickup trucks, but what do I know? Uh, they're already there. There are probably millions of them on the road. They're already licensed by other states. The fact is that there's also a little bit of DeSantis derangement syndrome going around lately, too. It's like a subjugate symptom of Trump derangement syndrome at large. So orange man bad, ergo MAGA bad, ergo anything associated with MAGA bad. So the concept of free speech, not wanting to be censored by, you know, a bunch of big tech sites, that's bad. You should want more censorship. Guns bad because evil gun owners, uh, many of which voted Trump, and they have Gadsden flags on their plate carriers. Oh my God, it's a hate symbol. So guns bad, Second Amendment bad, right to a fair trial bad. Uh, J6 defendants, <laughs> Trump himself now, uh, you see plenty of people calling for him to be dragged out, ripping and screaming and pooping himself like the big obese fat orange baby that he is and, you know, stupid shit like this. Leftoids have no physical strength usually, so they have weird fantasies about other people, jackbooters doing it. Sort of explains the Nazi party, they were socialists too, you fuckwads. Just to be clear about historical uh, accuracy instead of revisionism. The Gadsden flag has never been a dangerous symbol, and it's never symbolized anything remotely uh, related to hate, unless you mean hate of tyranny. Well, then what's NPR claiming? I guess they just want to keep their government bucks. The small portion of their budget that goes to them from taxpayers, uh, they're very worried about the possibility of it getting cut as we uh, dissolve elements of the bureaucracy, I suppose. I just thought that this was a really funny one. It's more of a flippant story. Because it's, it's like listening to uh, a little kid who's scared of the dark. And every time you turn the light off, they run into the room screaming, Oh my God, Mommy, Daddy, there's a monster. Okay, where's the monster? Under the bed. Okay, son, there's nothing under there. Oh, all right, thank goodness. You turn, go out, you turn the light back off five minutes later. Oh my God, there's a, there's a monster in, there's a dragon leering in my window. And you look out the window, there's no dragon. Then you check the closet for the abominable snowman, and pretty soon you're on, on all fours looking underneath the rug for giant grasshopper uh, monsters from Mars or something. Uh, basically, that's what the left-wing media has devolved into, constantly shrieking and finding things to whine and complain about without any form or semblance of fact-checking. There was no attempt by NPR to look into where these license plates were actually already available, number one. Or number two, what the Gadsden flag even stands for. They don't have a clue. They just see it. What they see is they see Proud Boys with don't, st don't tread on me tattoos. And they assume that that therefore is the moniker and, and the sum and substance of what that represents. Knowing nothing about the history of the flag itself going back quite some time. 
It's like when you see the come and take it flag, <clears throat> the one that typically, well, in the old days had a cannon on it. Now a lot of people put an AR-15 on it. They don't know what the hell it means. They don't know about its revolutionary implications or what it means. They just see, well, uh, this person whose politics I don't like, they're associated with Patriot Front, and they have a tattoo that says come and take it. Well, clearly it's a hate symbol now. Pepe, when it was run through the ringer on the same token, there were people that made Hitler Pepe, and so everyone else that was posting sad frog all of a sudden was a Nazi. Drinking milk was labeled by these morons to be hateful. Oh my god, milk is, yeah, milk is, is white, <clears throat> and Caucasian people are much less likely to be lactose intolerant than most other groups in the world. It's a dog whistle. Don't enjoy dairy products, everyone. Does that make all of India racist, by the way, for eating paneer? Which I made myself some time ago for a Palak paneer. It was good. The paneer came out perfect. I didn't thicken the, uh, the sort of gravious uh, spinach uh, part of it enough. So it was all right. It, it also, it was a low-salt recipe I didn't realize at first that I was making. So I had to more than double the salt in order to make it more palatable. I don't know. The original recipe wasn't very good. I managed to improve it to the point of palatability, but I'll try again next time uh, with more salt <laughs> and and less liquid. I think in the in with the spinach. Um, getting off on a tangent here, but I guess the, the and also, again, Ganesha has a swastika on his hand, and the Buddhists use that symbol too. So Buddhists, uh, Hindus, they're racist. Libertarians are evil. Uh, it sounds like, I mean, did Hitler win in the Second World War or something? Because it sounds like half the world's population are neo-Nazis by NPR's recollection. The fact is, though, that the Gadsden flag is not a racist symbol. It's not a hate symbol, again, unless it's hate of tyranny. Hate of the people that fund NPR, in other words. Yes, uh, we have a hate for those people because they're destroying our republic. While NPR whines and complains that populism is going to bring down democracy, they're actually contributing to the death of democracy. Some of the people there know this, and they've got theirs. They've, they've got their office and their gin and tonic and their cigars and shit. And others are just fucking clueless. None of these people bothered to fact check the Gadsden flag at all. Pretty typical for the legacy media. That's about all. Peace out.